good morning guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video brand new month we're in february i'm actually not i tell a lie <laughs> it's monday for me today so february this week coming but for you guys watching it is february where did january go even though it's the longest month i feel like did it feel long for you or did it feel short for you for me i don't know actually kind of a mixture it kind of felt like a write-off I will say that but rather than see it as a write-off I see it more as I was slowly getting back into the swing of things but anyway for me today it is Monday I'm in a kind of like workout attire because later on this afternoon we have our first at-home yoga session Tom booked us for like a kind of Christmas present 12 sessions with a girl called Sophie who's going to come to the house do one-to-one -one yoga with well I suppose one to two because myself and Tom are both doing it private at home yoga sessions hopefully every week if we can fit it in every week for the next 12 weeks and who knows we may continue it and I hope that I do um so yeah yoga for me is one of those things that I dip in and out of but I don't know why because I really enjoy it so by having these lessons pre-booked I feel like it's going to force me to keep up the rhythm that hopefully I will then continue on. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just in my little white fox active zip up and a little sports bra and leggings. These are the ones, sports bra and leggings from my Lululemon dupe from Amazon that I like to buy. So I'll leave everything linked below. I've just got some Adenola socks on. I am gonna run out this morning. I've got a couple of returns to make at Primark and I thought I would just kind of get ready with you just like light makeup I feel like leaving the house I feel like I want to put something on my face but bearing in mind I've got yoga later I'm gonna have my hair wash day today and everything like that I thought I would just put a little light touch of makeup on which I'll do with you and show you what I do when I do just a light base I have popped on some SPF which is a new one actually and I've been loving so I'm going to share that with you towards the end of this video in like a kind of February favorites let me let me chat and start getting ready okay there we go wow i look very pale i have zero fake tan on at the moment i might pop some on later on not on my body because i'm still for the most part <laughs> in high neck jumpers or whatever but i might just pop um some tiny drops of moisturizer later on before bed um but anyway yes so i have a few february favorites um from the month of january that i will show you i'm just popping on first and foremost this Vita Liberata Beauty Blair. This is like, I'm on the drugs now. I'm really trying to get it out as much as I can. But you know one of those products that just seems to, feels like it's running out, but then you seem to just get plenty on your skin. So no need to buy a new one just yet. Anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do with a big fluffy brush. Just blend that out. It's a very lightweight sheer base. It's not a high coverage at all. But for those no makeup makeup days, it's quite a nice, as the name suggests, blur to your skin, beauty blur. So I'm just going to pop that on. I'm not going to go in with any foundation or anything today, but I am just going to pop a bit of concealer under my eyes using the collection uh, in Porcelain 2. So yes, I have some February favourites to share with you. I also have a few Amazon deliveries, so I thought I could do a kind of like Amazon must-haves unboxing but yeah firstly I need to head to Primark I'm just going to do the returns if you saw my Primark call you'll have seen that because for the first time I used the click and collect service there were a couple of things that either didn't fit or I didn't really like the quality but because I bought it online I couldn't tell that um so I have those bits to return and last time I went I didn't have a chance to go into the home sense which is like right opposite it so I might quickly pop in today and just have a quick browse at what they've got but then head back in plenty of time for yoga this afternoon which is so exciting i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer the hula bronzer from benefit just a bit of powder bronzer just to kind of almost set what i've already put on just pop that everywhere to be honest with you and then a little tiny bit of blush. Which one should we use today? I've got some new products actually that I want to give a whirl. But I'm such a creature of habit that I just get out my makeup kit. Especially if I'm in a bit of a rush. I just end up putting on the same thing. So I definitely want to be a bit more adventurous and try some new products this year. 
um, this year. Like I've got all year to do it. <laughs> next time, next vlog, we'll do it. I'm just using the um, Neo Nude. It's called the Melting Color Balm Cheeks and Eyes from Armani Beauty. It's a really deep kind of rose color that I just think works really nice on my skin tone. I've got the last of this charlotte tilbury iconic nude lip liner in fact one of my monthly favorites that i was going to include at the end of the video but i'll mention it to you now and it's actually something that i've been doing a little bit different i would probably prefer to do it if i was being a bit more heavy, like every day a bit heavier coverage makeup but i'll show you now anyway and it's a new kind of lip combo which is very random and just something that i kind of stumbled across and it's the refi brow pencil which was a little too warm for i think i got it within like a beauty box or something and it the shade i think does it say what shade it is no it doesn't i think it was medium and it was just a little bit warm for my brows so i thought instead of using it for my brows i'm gonna use it as a bit of a brown lip liner and i love it but like i said usually i do it when i've got a bit more a bit more makeup on because it is a brow pencil it's super fine and really easy to apply just kind of blur it out in my finger along the edges Oh, so you don't have to do a refine, but just any kind of brown eyeliner. Because sometimes I feel like it's really hard to find a like 90s brown liner, lip liner. But obviously it's the same colour as a brown liner and it's a beauty product. So yeah, I've just been doing that. And then to go with it, I absolutely love using these Clarins Lip Perfectors. I've become obsessed with them. Ordinarily I would have just gone in with like a Carmex or something, but this just has a slight color to it either the pinky or the that's 21 that's 22 i love both of them um 22 is probably my favorite one though just has a slight color to it sponge applicators that you just squeeze out the product and yeah just adds a really nice kind of sheen it's not sticky at all it's a really nice hydrating essentially lip balm with a slight bit of pigment to it so yeah i've been loving that little combo um as for the rest of my face i will just pop a little bit of brow product so i've got the precisely my brow pencil from benefit in i hit myself in the face with it um shade 2.5 i've got a gap there lengthen the tail of my brow and just kind of bring in slightly that fluffy bit there it's a little bit of laura mercier powder just under the eyes where i put a bit of concealer and just here my smell lines and then a little bit of mascara and again for a softer no makeup makeup day I like to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in the chocolate brown colour because, again, I just feel like brown just is a little bit softer, especially on blondes, um, for those kind of no makeup makeup days. Well, I, I say no makeup, I've got makeup on, obviously, but just a very natural, make, quick makeup. Very simple, quick and easy. Hair is just slick back pony. Um, I feel like we should head over to Primark, get those bits returned. And then, just stumble and fall in, as I always do. Am I looking for anything specific though? Probably not, maybe just, there's a couple of things that I do want to get in terms of furniture. I want to get some kind of console table for by the front door. I might get a Still and Bloom one and get one made again because they, the quality of their stuff is lovely. And same with the coffee table in the front room. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for one, but I might get one from Still and Bloom. And also, um, it's where our dining table's from and our console. And also, what else? 
a chair for in our bedroom some kind of chair and a mirror although mirror i'm thinking william wood or the next one that i've got downstairs in the kitchen i might even move the next one that i've got in the kitchen to that space because it's a perfect size and then get a bigger william wood mirror for in that kitchen near like the olive tree but this one that i've got here <laughs> this one is William Wood, one of their arch mirrors, and it's honestly fantastic. It's like a metal framed, heavy, but I just have it floor standing, just leaning against the wall so that I can be a bit mobile with it and move it around if needs be. But yeah, let's get on the road. Let's head over to the traffic centre. guys tea light holder one pound thirty a little bit of a white company juke because i know they sell their plates their candle plates like this i think they're about eight pounds yeah one pound thirty not bad at all we've also got some like pink valentine's bits in easter bits as well some new scents lemon verde and sage sounds quite nice Read diffuser then some cute little gift ideas like pillows cushions plants Oh, that's cute. A little diary that you can pop your own photo in. A little dupe for the H&M vase that I've got. It is a bit smaller, but how much is that? £10. I think Home Bargains do one for, it's like half that price, but if you're after one, Primark. And then they've got these little trays down here as well. Love these. Like a brass edging. £10 for those set of two trays. They've got them in silver as well. And then a cute little jewellery box. How much is this? This one is six pounds and loads of cute easter bits we've got some bunnies little easter eggs these little mushrooms toadstools which we'll see were popular at christmas as well bringing back for easter with the little glittery ones as well some cute faux flowers they're actually quite good those ones and then some wreaths and even more faux flowers eucalyptus at the end some like white and burgundy um but otherwise it's very colorful lots of pastel colors in for spring Okay, Primark returns now done. That was fairly straightforward. It does take a little bit longer on click and collect, but um, it's all done, all done. I had to shove on my like <laughs> dog walking jacket on route out because the weather today, <gasps> miserable. It's like dark as well though. It feels very stormy. Anyway, so I'm gonna go over to uh, Home Sit Down, which is just across the way. I always forget there's an Ellen Cafe here. Never been. It looks very pink and girly, fun. As you can tell from the pink glow on my face. Let's head over to Home Sense to see what they've got. Thinking maybe like a chair like this in the bedroom, or is that more of like a living room style? How much is it? 229. I do quite like the boucle and the wooden, or even this one. This one's uh, 179 and that's just like the all boucle. Or they've got like a round one. I feel like this is more bedroom. Although I don't love the quality of that one, but that one's 199. I quite like the round shape of that. They've got another one actually of those at 179. Quite a selection at this home sense. Look at that one. Oh, like a cloud. Just having a quick look at some of these like final clearance bits and these prints. I do love them like for Christmas but obviously you can remove the print and use this frame like all year round. They were £16.99 each, they're only £1.70, oh in fact that one's £1.70, this one's only £1.10. But I'm really torn on whether or not to get these because I do quite like the like walnut coloured frame. love some of their easter bits they've got these like natural 
carrot bunches for $7.99. I like this natural color one most. I like to just put in a bowl somewhere, maybe in the kitchen area. They are lovely. And then they've got some like other little bunnies, some little spring wreaths. Oh, they've got loads more of these, like lighter colored ones. I also love this little Easter egg garland, $7.99. It's just like a cream cream and gold little nibble bowls and then they've got some like valentine's bits as well some gift wrap gifting these little heart decorations 2.99 i might have a look at the books as well whilst i'm here i always like a quick look at seeing what uh like coffee table books they've got sleeping <laughs> that ear what's that ear doing here you go here you go you finished oh really how much oh, yeah we'll have some eggs please i have just got back home and i got home to this class okay let me go in the other room I need to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Ten hours later. I don't know what this big box is though. It's one of these things that I'm always like, Ooh, what is it? No idea. And then I open it and I go, oh yeah. I remember what I bought now. <laughs> no, but you never do that. You no, in fact, you probably don't, do you? No, <laughs> You're like, there's an order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Still in bloom. I actually mentioned this in a, my last one, was it? You know, in our spare bedroom, because there's no room for bedside tables, I had a voucher for £75 for Still in Bloom, who's the guys that did our table in this console table. And they do now these little side things, so we'll need to get someone to come and fix it to the wall. It's like a little wooden... Uh, kind of side table. Oh, they give you the wall plugs. I reckon you could fit a wall plug. This is the colour coffee table I want in the front room. How many eggs are Oh, nice. See? And you said no, it's too dark. How many? Um, one piece of bread. Two eggs, please. How nice is that? So you fix that to the wall and it's like a little bedside shelf that you can pop a little where you can put a little candle on, a little mini book. But I only got the one because we nice obviously one. the other side is the window, isn't it? I really think we should go for this colour coffee table in the front room. I will do, but I'm just want want your verification. You're not gonna listen to you. No, I will because you said you didn't like this colour. Nice. Right, that's what I wanted. I wanted you to say it's actually nice. This is it in comparison to, I'll show you. This is their antique finish do like a lime wash which is like a white wash and then our color which is a natural yeah but in that other room i do feel like this will work really nicely we've got that walnut frame coming for that artwork but to be fair that spare room i think i want to do a bit of a room makeover on it anyway it's just a bit ikea a bit boring so i feel like that would look really nice and we still need to get like a sliding door on there. Or do we think maybe just to keep it as an open door into that bathroom? What do we think? Sound. Concentrate. Oh, he's concentrating. Can't do two things at once, can you? <laughs> Very. Um, no, 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 no. What's he doing, Mr. Boone? He's just got this out. Do you only got one? On what? A little spread side. Yeah, because the other side is the window. And the so window ledge. No. <laughs> Leave me to it. Just like you are a whopper, you. I, I'm not that <laughs> the 
enslave me to the interiors. It's not really, it's like a bedside shelf, not a full table. And yeah, you can have one. Honestly. Put the lights on in here because it's midday and it's pitch black outside. Isn't it? Anyway, yeah, so I've just got home to this delivery and I ordered these on a recommendation. So I'm going to try them out. Not today. Hello, gorgeous boy. How are you feeling? He's been, he's had his first sickness bug. First ever sickness bug, haven't you? And he had to go, we took him to the vets and he had to go into hospital for a night. Have some fluids and some antibiotics, but you're back home and you're much more yourself now, aren't you? He's got his little shaved patch on his leg. Feeling better though. Honestly guys, he was, he, we, Tom slept downstairs with him two nights in a row and he just, the second night or second morning I got up and came downstairs, he just didn't move. He didn't say hello to me. Usually he'd be super happy to see me. He just laid in his bed, like with his eyes like that, barely even keeping it. He didn't even lift his head. And I um, I went up to him, I opened the door. I said, should we go outside for wee wee? Should we go be quick? Nothing. Went and got his lead, put my boots and coat on as if to take him out, nothing. He would not even lift his head. So we called the vets and they said, yeah, bring him in, took him in. They checked, he had a high temperature and they said that's what will make him feel lethargic. But because he hadn't had water even for 24 hours, they were like, let's just get some fluids in him. And honestly, he is another dog. He's so much better. <laughs> Essentially, I've never seen them before, but they're a gel strip, so you still have to cure them with your lamp. But if you do at home DIY gels, which I do, this is just like a gel OPI in the shade Coconuts Over OPI. But yeah, they do like all sorts of patterns and things that I wouldn't be able to do on myself. So I thought I would try them out, but they're essentially a gel nail strip. So you, it's like a sticker that you peel off, peel onto your nail, cut around, file it, cure it, and then that's it. No base coat needed or anything. So yeah, I've got these three different styles to try out. I've got like a little kind of gold semicircle on a nude base, a clear one with love hearts, I thought that could be good for Valentine's, and then like a semi-sheer, they're called. Um, but yeah, so I'll try those. They're from Moyu. And then I've got just two things from HomeSense. I've got this book, which I found from it's by Oprah Winfrey called The Wisdom of Sundays. Gorgeous book that actually will look really nice on one of the bookshelves somewhere. But it's called The Wisdom of Sundays and it's um, Oprah's Aha Moments and Sparks of Insight. And I just thought it'd be actually a really nice read but also look lovely too. It's number one New York Times bestseller. Lovely linen cover. And it was only 5 dollars bargain and then i did go for the darker colored carrots <laughs> very premature with a bit of easter decor and i do have some carrots but i think if i remember rightly there's only a couple and they're in different like linens so i thought a big bowl of them would look lovely so i'll add the others in with that for my easter decor 7.99 they were and that's everything so we'll go enjoy some eggs for breakfast have a bit of yoga then I'll show you, well hopefully, I'll show you the Amazon bits actually before yoga. And then I will do some monthly favourites. Ow! Just bang my wrist. Oh, I'm poached. For some reason I was imagining scrambled, but I'm happy with poached. Well, it feels in by about a minute. Yes. Tom likes his extra runny. I like mine just on the verge of Being runny. <laughs> No, I don't like them hard. I like them like a hard, if the, if the yolk was slightly hard on the outer and then runny in the middle, that's how I like them. I don't get to make this today. Well, I did think actually. Firm you up. They, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did think a bit of scrambled eggs usually is included when you say like a bland diet. But we have got some of that um, oh, tin food. Hey, gorgeous boy. One appetite. Yeah, perfect, Tommy. Perfect.
in my wardrobe room and I've got my huge boxes, deliveries, there's more as well. So we have a little Amazon haul. So if you haven't already, in fact, I should have got myself one, a coffee. Oh, never mind. I'll enjoy it through you guys. You tell me what you're drinking whilst watching this. Anyway, I'll show you the bits that I've taken out the boxes already first and foremost. And I showed these briefly in my, I think it was my last vlog, but I had this delivery of these baskets, um, which I have ordered actually for in here. Let me see if they're gonna fit because uh, I feel like they're gonna be too deep for these ones. Let's have a look. See if these hangers. Yeah, too deep for those middle ones. So either I can pop these within the deeper drawers in here somewhere, or I thought in the larger unit as well, or to be honest with you, anywhere. Bookshelf, wherever I've got spaces, these baskets kind of, Kubu wicker baskets come in super handy. So I've got two of those. I also picked up some more really random laces. Basically had a bit of an organized through my shoes and some of them, my vasias, the laces were just basically, they were dead, they were gone. So I decided to get some fresh ones. I washed the actual trainers themselves and I will replace the laces with these. And then I saw these and I thought these looked perfect. So I actually got two packs of them, but they're essentially an elastic band. Which, how many do you get in each? You get one, two, three of each. So we've got full, king, twin, and queen. And these are elastic bands that can go around your bedding. So just to help keep things organized, you can literally fold your laundry. Once you've washed your bedding, fold it all up, wrap one of these bands around it so you know exactly what bed set it's for. So I was thinking, obviously these are like American with them saying queen, which I would say is double for us. I think what I might do is twin, I would say is like two singles. So twin will be single bedding, which I don't think we have any of. Um, queen would be double, king, king size, and then full would be for our bed, super king, essentially. But yeah, just super handy. What a genius idea. Again, I'll leave all of these linked below because there were quite a few different options to get, but I just wanted the plain and simple ones. And then I got this, which, in fact, I already showed this, I think, in another vlog as well. It's basically a little printer, which you have all these different rolls of paper, half of which normal paper, half are sticky labels. So perfect for like returns packages, you just need to print something, you just connect your phone to it and select your image, print it direct, and then you can print it direct onto a sticky label. So if you've got one of those like Royal Mail um, things that you need to print out, it's just easy to print it straight onto a sticker. Then I also got two of these, I got three in fact of these baskets. Two are already in the larder unit, and then this is the third one. Although having said that, this one will actually fit in the middle section because it's not as deep. So maybe I will rejig. We'll see. We'll see. But I might rejig these baskets and put the ones that I've got in the larder units in the wardrobe instead. But they're the same, just just a different different shape and size. Then I got myself kind of a boring purchase, but I needed a new tripod. Mine is on its last legs. It's honestly falling apart. So I decided to just get a fresh new one. I also got myself a LMS Pro Collagen cleansing balm, not cleansing balm. I've got the cleansing balm. I wanted to get a new moisturizer. So I decided to get this night cream. If you've used it, you know, you just know how good it is. It's on the pricey side, I'm not gonna lie, but I just really, really rate LMS skincare. So yeah, I, I've probably discovered it having been sent PR from them in the past, but to the point where I repurchased myself, I love it that much. And then I've got a couple of books. So firstly, I got this Copenhagen City Guide. These are one of the serial city guides, if you've not seen them. They are gorgeous to have a flick through first and foremost especially if you're going to this city. And Tom actually mentioned he wants to go to Copenhagen this year. So I'm up for a little weekend away in Copenhagen and this as a little city travel guide, I thought would be really cute. Some like gorgeous imagery, even just for like inspo for Copenhagen. 
style it's worth a flick through so i think i've got new york london and paris then they do Copenhagen and they also do LA, Los Angeles. I don't know if I picked that one up or not, but it's not in this box. It's a lovely little book to put out on display, as is this one. This is called Create at Home with Old and New by Ali Heath. And that's the exact style that I love. I love combining old with new, that rustic kind of edge to my home decor. I really love that's why I particularly like kind of antique shopping, thrifting having a quick browse in the charity shops, mostly for homeware finds, because I feel like you can upcycle things really easily and give it that kind of rustic feel, but on a budget. So anyway, I got this book for a bit of inspiration, like even just like these rustic terracotta pots, just absolutely love them. Um, all the different textures within the home. So again, for a bit of inspo, look at that bathroom. Stunning. It can still be neutral, but just with all the different textures, have a bit of character. I mean, look at oh, that kitchen and all them pots on the open shelves. I just love it. I feel like I really want to do something like that in our outdoor kitchen when we eventually get around to doing it. Hopefully, there we go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're looking to get started in spring, March, April time. We're looking to start garden project and, um, yeah i'm thinking real rustic kind of industrial out there too tom essentially wants this it's called a bright oven but he wants it in the center of the hosting space so as a bit of like a focal point and have it open so you could stand either side of it and use it obviously to cook your meats your barbecues but then also have it as a bit of an open fire for like cozy vibes in winter and toasting marshmallows and yeah just all the coziness and then have lots of natural elements maybe even concrete floor or worktop stainless steel copper pans um exposed brick wood cladding on the outside in black maybe big glass doors so that's the kind of vibe that we're thinking we'll see how far the budget stretches as to how far we get with that anyway next a box that we have here what did I say? I did get the Los Angeles book. I thought I would have just to complete the set. So this is another place that I would love to go, especially with Tom and maybe even do like a bit of a road trip, Yosemite. I just really want to do that. It's just finding time, money, especially when you're spending doing the house. Um, and when you have a boyfriend that plays cricket, because <laughs> cricket season's basically right off all summer. Although I've managed to convince Tom for some holiday this January, J January, July. So yes, we'll find time at some point. I jumped on the bandwagon of TikTok shop purchases with the beauty industry, and I picked up these two like hot selling items. Firstly, this one, which I was a bit skeptical on, um, Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian crush in 62 pistachio salted caramel. Like, perfumist? Whoa. Ooh. Do you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Like, like my first ever perfume, the kind of Lacoste touch of pink. That I think that was my first ever perfume. Um, it's very... I might have to give that to Tom's niece. I don't know if that's for me. It's very intense. I feel like holiday vibes as well, kind of. Um, this one, however, I've had a little bit of a swatch before and know I love. It's from Drunk Elephant and it's their bronzing drops. Or what do they call it? Anti-pollution sunshine drops. So this is basically like a kind of formula that is super shimmery and shining glass looking on your skin whilst adding a bit of color as well it's only a small little pop of it but i feel like a little will go a long way so i will give these a test run and let you know how i get on shape before use add a drop or more to any serum oil or cream for a gorgeous glow and potent dose of protective antioxidants and omega fatty acids so good for kind of combining within your moisturizer for that healthy glow excited to give those a good trial run test test run uh what else have we got in here we've got a box within a box now oh uh, yes i forgot i got this so this is wow i need to give it a bit of a 
clean. It's got like polystyrene residue on it. But I got a glass dome. I finally found one that's the exact shape and size for uh, my cake stand that I already have. The one that I've got, I got from Home Set. So it's like a white ceramic, bobble edged, white company vibes, but it didn't come with a glass dome. And as much as I like having it out, I just feel like a glass stone would be more ideal, especially in summer when I'm baking a lemon drizzle or whatever it is that is out on display, just to have it covered. I feel like I would definitely um, make use of this. So that is my little Amazon haul, mini Amazon haul. I don't know if it's mini, I've been chatting for 15 minutes almost, but yeah, I feel like we're not far off yoga time so i might set the atmosphere downstairs i can hear that tom's actually on a call at the moment but i will get the um oil diffuser going put the lamps on light the candles get out our yoga mats and get prepped and ready for our first ever at home yoga session i'm really excited for it just like that mat rolled up we're all done really enjoyed that we both did didn't we hopefully i managed to get some footage to include that i'm just going upstairs just to grab some socks because i'm gonna take barney out on a quick walk so yeah that was so good i feel like because it's been a while since I've done yoga, I always fall in and out of the habit of it, like I was saying earlier. So the fact that I'm kind of forced to, not forced to do it every week, but you know, I'm encouraged to do it every week seeing as though we've got these classes booked. I actually already can't wait for next week. It was so good. We, it was quite, um, for like a first session, I would say it was quite, there were certain moves that were quite strenuous, but so you feel like you've had a workout as well as um, she did like breath work, a bit of massage at the end with essential oils. Like she came around once we were like eyes closed doing some breath work and honestly I was like zen. So one thing we did say is because it's like middle of the day, well af uh, early afternoon, next week we've booked in for morning, like first thing 7.30 to 8.30 to kind of start the week and that's hopefully what we'll do moving forward every single monday we will um do that just to kind of like i just feel like it's a great way to kick start the week 
so yeah super happy super zen and chilled and i feel like a bit red it was quite warm tom was saying we need to turn the heating down next time but she did say it's actually quite beneficial especially for someone like tom who his main aim with the yoga sessions is to sort of like improve on the flexibility he's got really tight hamstrings um she said the warmth actually will will help but yeah it was so lovely and a great new fun activity to kind of kick start basically february do you want to go for uh, was it was it what you expected or was it uh, a walk do you want to go for a walk come on then Come on then. Should we get your lead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chef Tommy, what are we having tonight? Spinach baracas. Spinach baracas? Is that what they're called? Basically spinach and feta, filo pastry. Is that literally puff all we're pastry. having? Just puff pastry. And you're having salad. You're having. <laughs> no, you're having salad. A piece of chicken. Right. Oh, some leftover chicken thighs that we've got. Mm -hmm. And salad sounds like a pretty wholesome Lebanese type meal. There's basically a takeaway not too far from us that does Lebanese. Oh, watch your fingers. Because it's a sharp, you should always have a sharp knife for safety fingers. Right. Or just have a good boyfriend that likes to do it for you. <laughs> right, well I will leave you to that whilst I go up and have a hair wash. Hair wash? Yeah, I'm going to treat myself for the week. Nice. I'm going to actually wash my hair. I'm only a couple of days off going to the hairdresser, so I can't wash it tomorrow. Uh, as well as wash my hair, I'm gonna take off all, all my makeup, take off all my makeup, <laughs> and yeah, just get the bedroom ready for bed. This is what I like to do. Pop the side lights on and the lamp. Shut all the shutters. Most important part is to put, oh, I'm not going to PJs, fresh PJs tonight. As I was saying, most important part, fresh PJs straight on the radiator so that they can be nice and cozy warm after my shower. Oh, isn't that just the most wholesome feeling ever? Fresh, warm pajamas to get into. I'm going to light this candle as well, although that's Pretty dead to be fair. That one. This one is from the Wild Botanist. And it's called the Peru to London, this one. Cacao nibs, vanilla, and lima balsam. It's very sort of oody and musky and warming. Good for the bedroom for an evening. So I'll just leave that there. Got my book beside my bed ready to go. We are nearly finished now with that one. And we're getting to quite like the sad part to be fair. Just pop the uh, throws and cushions on the floor as well. Really like poignant with being a true Britney fan over the years. Growing up with her, basically being my childhood. So yeah, throws and cushions over here and then i also just like to spritz a little bit of the neon perfect night's sleep pillow mist just so that it smells nice and calming when we come in here tonight also i thought i'd just show you quickly what i was thinking with this shelf from still and bloom it just goes beside the bed i'll remove this that is currently here this like little tray and just pop that there so that a bit lower so that people can have a little place to pop I might pop a coaster on there um because that's just kind of crammed in there, that little current basket setup that I've got there. That'll probably be better off in the downstairs spare room, cinema room in the basement. So that's going to stay there for the foreseeable until someone comes and hangs it. And we'll probably get like a big list of jobs that we need to get done. Like a handyman to just come and get it all done in one day. Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. That's 
successful self-care evening in bed by 8 p.m <laughs> i am gonna read though tonight i think i'm gonna spend a good hold on let me just shut that door in case you can hear the tv on downstairs a good hour of reading i essentially have kind of accumulated this routine since traitors in love island started of coming up at about eight having a good or eight to eight thirty reading until nine and then um putting on either the traitors or love island on in bed so it's very like already chilled zen vibes and um, so i've just made myself as well a winter warmer cup of tea i feel like i might have to repurchase some of these this is probably my first little february favorite that i wanted to mention although it's a january favorite start of february I've seen that they are still in stores so i might pick up another box of those not even sure what's in it it's quite citrusy like orangey a bit spicy like star anise or cinnamon or something like that but it's honestly just delicious but yeah i thought i would share with you a couple of favorites firstly that tea secondly oh the sun protection that i was wearing today that i said i popped on my spf already this SPF I have been loving. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. It's the ultraviolet, it's called SPF 50 plus. There are a few different ones, so I'll leave this one linked, but it's the UVB and UVA protection. And it just gives a really nice kind of sheen to the skin. It feels really nice, soaks straight into your skin. It's not like sticky and thick and cakey and horrible. And I can see why people rave about it. And honestly, I was hoping that I didn't enjoy it so that I didn't have to spend as much as I do on this uh, because I do wear SPF every single day or at least I try to. I'm pretty good with it though to be fair. What I'll do is I'll put this on usually instead of a moisturizer in the morning so that kind of like encourages me to this be my moisturizer. But yeah, I have been loving this. Really, really like that. So yes, we'll definitely be looking to repurchase that once that runs out another beauty favorite and i put it back in its packaging just to share it with you because it was actually a pr gift that was sent to me the cologne intense in red hibiscus i've never tried i don't know if it's new i'm assuming it's new but they've sent it in this gorgeous red packaging which how perfect is that for valentine's and yes i want to spritz some even though i'm in my pajamas why not but for me oh it's lovely for me, that's the kind of as feminine as I would go. So if you're like on the cusp of liking feminine, masculine, then definitely try this. I think you will love it. It's very deep, but it has that slight feminine edge to it, which like I said, I don't ordinarily go for, but this surprised me. So yeah, thanks to Gemma for sending that. Plus I've got a tea in hand, another drink that I kind of loved more so throughout December as well as January, but I didn't discover it in January. But I bought this, I think I mentioned it as part of like a good gift idea within one of my gift guides at Christmas. It's the Tim Hortons French Vanilla Powder. So this is quite milky. So for someone like me who doesn't drink any caffeine or much caffeine, this one does have caffeine in it, but because of the milky powder, it's, I don't know, it, do, it doesn't taste like strong caffeine, so I'm okay with this, but um, you add, just says, I'm just showing you what it looks like on the inside, 
like a white powder with the coffee and milk powder already in there and the French vanilla. So, oh no, I lost it in there. So that is all you need. You literally just add hot water to this. So you add two heaped tablespoons into a mug with a splash of freshly boiled water. You make a smooth paste, which is how I do my hot chocolates. Top it up with boiling water. Stir the mixture before enjoying your drink. Tim Hortons, I love. I actually, um, they reached out to me recently about working with them and the sort of content they were after, it didn't quite fit what I sort of like would do. So I did reject it, but it was painful for me to do that. Um, I do actually turn down probably more jobs than you think I do because that's even a brand that I would love to work with, but it just wasn't quite the right fit with what they were after. Um, but I honestly love Tim Hortons. I probably get a Tim Hortons at least once or twice a month. We have one not too far from us. There's one in Manchester. In fact, there's a couple in Manchester. So if you haven't tried Tim Hortons, grilled cheese sandwich is what I usually get and their Timbits, box of Timbits or the caramel apple fritter or I think just the apple fritter. I don't know, but so delicious. And then I get a French vanilla when I go as well because it's just delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Anyway, I have got one fashion favourite, which was a very recent purchase actually. And this is from m and It is something that I showed in my m and Zara haul video not too long ago, but I thought I would mention it as a favourite because this in particular, I feel like is gonna be such a staple leading into spring that I had to mention it on here as well. It's the Arquette dupe as well, and I kid you not, near enough identical i think the arquette one is about 160 pounds this one was 59 i think uh, i'll leave it linked but yeah this is like a short trench with that same sort of single lapel detail on the side that is just so similar to the arquette one that i just couldn't resist that and i feel like it's a good item within the wardrobe a good mix and match options for that i do have a couple of tv recommendations so i was going to say what i have been watching this month so 24 hours in police custody came back on tv there were a couple of episodes of that well worth watch probably one of my favorite kind of true crime tv shows another true crime show that i saw on netflix was called american nightmare which is essentially around a kidnapping it's only three episodes so it's super easy to binge and uh, again like had me grit it, it's one of those the way that netflix film it whereby it keeps you hooked keeps you guessing by thinking oh that person's not been interviewed yet maybe they're in prison maybe they're dead but who knows and then the next episode it's like they pop up and you're like okay so we get to hear their side now obviously the traitors but since that finished they came out and said about the um australian season two so i watched that it's, I feel like, what are there? There's two UK traitors, two Australian traitors, and one US, I think. And each one, UK ones are definitely my favorite, but I, knowing the endings of the other ones, the Australian and the US ones, I would still say it's worth a watch because every single traitors has had a different outcome at the end. So yeah, still worth watching if you haven't seen it and miss the UK traitors because you enjoyed it so much, then definitely try the other ones and stick with them because it's worth it for the endings. Another thing that I watched, which was on recommendation of Tom's mum and my mum watch actually, it's called True Love. I think it was on ITV and yeah, I just watched it on catch up and binged the entire series, but it was quite it's kind of like a black humour, black comedy. Like there were slightly funny moments to it, but it is essentially a crime drama. Um, essentially, why do I always say essentially? Essentially, essentially, essentially. It followed the lives of, I think four, four or five elderly, I don't even want to say elderly, 70s. But they kind of formed this pact to help each other kill each other in a morbid sense but this is what i mean by the kind of comedy side to it if they got to a point where they no longer wanted to live whether it be through illness or accident or whatever and yes yeah, so you follow the lives of these people doing that and twists and turns along the way it was about six episodes so yeah a good watch 
And then what else was like, oh, something on TikTok that I have come across. I don't know if, I'm sure some of you will have seen this if you're on TikTok, but synesthesia, synesthesia. I have it, okay? I have it, I swear I have it. Let me know if any of you do. A lot of people I think will, if you click on, if you like search synesthesia on TikTok and you'll see some videos crop up, I think a lot of you will think it's like a foreign language to think, what? Can't relate to that at all. But the video that I saw was like of a girl filming herself and you could hear in the background her friend who has it explaining things. And I just could relate to that person so much that I then got into a bit of a rabbit hole of Billie Eilish talking about how she has synesthesia, how only about 3% of the population have it. And it's essentially kind of connecting numbers to words, to shapes, to days of the week, to months of the year, as like similar things, even though they're obviously not, but they kind of relate to each other. They synesize, I don't know if that's the right term, but let me know if you haven't come across it, search it, and let me know if you think, what? No idea what you're talking about. Or let me know if you think, yes, I get that. I get it, because I certainly do. Um, anyway, that's the last thing that I want to mention. I was just gonna show you before I sign off today's video, these new little things that I've discovered. And they are essentially a form of heatless curls. So like on a day like today, for instance, where I don't necessarily need to style my hair tomorrow, I will dry my hair to about, I would say it's about 90% now, that's slightly damp underneath. You can just use it with dry hair. And I actually think it's better if you use these in between like styling as well. So if you use curlers to style your hair, then use these to help hold the curl at night and the volume that you get in the morning. I will do a TikTok and Instagram reel of me using these so that you can see the outcome, because obviously I need to sign off today's video here, but I will show you that on TikTok um, and Instagram, like I said. So essentially, I, I take my hair into two sections, the top section being slightly, I would say, I'd say I take maybe 60% of my hair in the bottom half and 40% in the top half and you get your little contraption these come in sets of two it comes with a little kind of what looks to be like a little shower cap and one of these heatless curler things whereby you take your hair I'm going to do this front section forwards like brush it in fact I need to take a bit less than that I feel like I had a bit too much hair there this section brush it forward could do with a natural brush but it's fine brush it forward and then you take your heated roller heated roller heatless roller and you kind of wrap your hair around it but you wrap your hair around it like i said this one i do forwards just for the volume when you take it out if you want that kind of blow dried look and then you clip it these have little poppers on the end oops kind of twist it round clip it and then just to help keep it in place you essentially have this little shower cap that goes over the entire thing and that really does just help hold it in place so the main reason why i love these in particular and now let me just do the same on the back so you can see Twist that around, clip it shut, and voila, so that's kind of what you're left with. I might need to just redo that one a little bit tighter off camera, but yeah, can you see it sliding now? But the main reason why I love these is because I'm a side sleeper predominantly. These are really good for that because you've got all of this space here that you can sleep either on your side, your back, and it'd be fine and not uncomfortable. The kind of dressing gown heatless curls I found really uncomfortable to sleep on. This doesn't wake me up, I don't feel it. I just much prefer it. And also the way that you do it, I just feel like this front section, I feel like I need to redo it, but this front section just gets so much volume. You know, like a fresh blow dry, I honestly love it. Mm. 
and then in the morning what I'll do is I undo it and then I just kind of zhuzh it around a bit you just kind of like finger through the curls and just run some oil through the ends bit of hairspray and you're done that's a bit better there we go so yeah this guys is my last of my favorites that I'm going to mention again I will leave these linked below they're so affordable they're about fiver and I love them so yeah that is gonna go ahead and conclude my hello February vlog I hope you guys all had a lovely but slow start to the year and enjoyed January thank you so much for watching today's video guys I can't believe I'm signing off looking like this but here we are we're all friends here I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys